Hi, hello, this is Anub here and in this video we are going to see how to upgrade secondary site server to 2006. So I have already explained um, how to upgrade the primary server to 2006. If you want to see that probably you can refer to the description of this video. I will share the link over there. As you have seen, I have already initiated the secondary server upgrade by right clicking on the secondary uh, site server and selecting upgrade option. Once you started the upgrade, initiated the upgrade from the primary server, you can see the status in the show install status button, right? If you click on show install status button in the ribbon menu of SCM console, you can see the step by step status, right? And this next thing you need to look into is the config MGR prereq dot log file in the primary server. Now we are going to the secondary server and in the secondary server, what you can see is you can open up the config mgr dot config mgr setup dot log, right? So probably that won't be like there won't be any updates over there at the moment. Once the primary server processed all the updates, all the prerequisites from there, right? from primary server pr primary server will analyze the secondary server and check all the prerequisites are in place or not once that is in place then the source files will get automatically copied to the secondary server okay so we will see that in a minute so we, i'm checking the prerequisite log file again and check whether there is any update right so prerequisite after as per the show status window, the prerequisite has already completed. The, okay, this is from the primary server. You, you can check all these from the primary server. You can ignore the warning messages over there if you want. Otherwise, you can dig more deep into it, right? If you want to learn more about it, you can. You have all the descriptions available in the below window okay so now it's it's time to uh, kind of go back to the secondary server and check some of the log files in the c drive of secondary server right and you can see as i mentioned before and uh, now after the prerequisites check the the SCM primary server copied the content right the source files for the upgrade to this particular secondary server and that is a temporary folder as you have shown uh, as you have so as you have seen right <laughs> okay so this is another interesting log file right this is sms underscore bootstrap dot log file in this log file, you can see th how the copy of source files happened and which is that temporary folder where the source file is stored for the secondary server upgrade, right? Okay, and you can, if you want, you can check the status in the site component dot log file in the secondary server. This will give you more details, right? Now we are back to the primary server and let's check the status again. Okay. So it says transferring the copy, uh, transferring the files. That is the last update we can see in the show updates, right? Now, if you go to the state of that, but 
particular secondary server you would be able to say it states upgrade right state is upgrade okay now you can see transferring config mgr files so that is the last step we can see over here and you can see what are the other things completed most of them are prerequisite file prerequisite status right after prerequisites completion as i mentioned it is going to copy the source files of this particular upgrade from primary server to the secondary server now let's go back to the secondary server and check the updates over there probably from the c drive right there's not much happening over here after the copying of source files secondary server will start upgrading the database right and once the database is upgraded then it will uninstall and install all the site server site system server related components right and this is a setup log file which you can look into the secondary server right from the secondary server you can look into config mgr setup.log file and that will give you the exact details of installation right and as you can see this installation got successfully completed right as per the log file now let's go back to the primary server and check the status right and as per the status the secondary server upgrade to 2006 got completed successfully now if you refresh you can see the site is active and the site version is same as the primary server thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll see you later bye bye